In this video, I want to show you the right way of setting up your Divi 5 website. Now, this process is very important because if you nail this, then your design process is going to be very, very easy and straightforward. All right, so let's dive in. So the first thing you want to do is to work with your colors. As you can see, this is a default DV website setup. Okay, so we're going to come over here and go to our dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you sort out your colors first. And the best place to set up all your colors is over here in your customizer. Now, before I used to, you know, put my colors in all sorts of places. And you know, that is the wrong way of doing it. This is the correct way. So over here, I have my color palette. So what you need to do is to first establish your main color, which is your primary color. Now, this is your brand color. Think of this as the red in Coca-Cola. OK, so in this case, this is going to be my main color. I'm going to click here to copy it and then I'm going to come over here to my customizer. Next, we're going to go to general layout settings. And then this is where you need to add your primary color. And you're going to notice that once you set it up here as you're designing your website, it's going to be very, very easy. All right. So we're going to go in and paste our primary color like that. Next, we want to add our secondary color. Now, in Divi, our secondary color is going to act as what? As our action color, our call to action color. OK, so let's go ahead and copy that. We're going to come over here and we're going to scroll down to our secondary color here. And remember, always remember this. This is going to be your action color. This is what's going to be applied to all your buttons, all your links and so on. All right. So now that you've entered it here, there's also one place we need to add it. Let's go to typography. We're going to scroll all the way down to our link color. So we want to make sure that the link color is also the same like that. OK, great. The next set of colors that we need to add are all our text colors. So the heading color and also your normal body font color. So this is where they are. We're going to come over here. And normally you can get away with grays. But if you have a custom website that you need to build with specific colors, then you want to come over here and, you know, adjust those. But you can get away with just pretty much some grays here. And I'm also going to do the same to the body text color here and just bring it down a bit. This time it's going to be yeah, 42, 42, 42. OK, let's hit publish for now. Right. So now that we have our colors, we have our primary color, our secondary color, and then we have colors for our text and also our headings. The next step now is to set your fonts. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here we have our header font. So you can choose whatever font you want. So in this case, I'm going to go with something like a Poppins. So we're going to scroll all the way down here and OK, there we go. We're quite close. So we're going to go with Poppins right here. OK, and you can see it's a, it's a, it has been updated here. Next, you can see here the font weight is set to thin. We're going to change this to bold. Great. Next, we want to add now our body font. OK, so for this one here, I'm going to use something basic. I'm going to go with Inter. I mean, I've been using this lately, but of course, if you want to use something different, it's up to you. So uh, let's see. There we go. Enter. OK, and make sure you remove this thin and change this to what? To regular. OK, so so far, so good. We're going to publish this for now. Now you can see I keep on cl uh, clicking on publish because I just want to make sure that things don't get messed up as I'm setting all this. Next, it's our body text size. So you want to make sure you set this to 16. That's your standard. OK, so 16 is the standard across all browsers. So make sure that you set it to 16. All right. So now with that all set, Pretty much we are good to go. Let's hit publish and we're going to go out of here. Right. The next thing that we need to set up is our home page. OK, because right now when we go to our website, you can see when I click on visit, it's going to take me to a default blog page. And that's not what we want. We want a home page. All right. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we're going to come over here to our pages and then we're going to say add new. So our page here is going to be called home and we're just going to say use Divi Builder here. OK, great. And then we're just going to publish it. Now, at this stage, you can also go ahead and set up, you know, your home page, your services page, your about page if you want to. But I'm just going to keep things very simple here. Next, you want to come over here now to this to the builder settings. Now, it's important that you come over here because as you can see, there's no way of me going back to WordPress. So what you want to make sure you do is to enable the what? the admin bar. Now you can see I can navigate, I can add new pages and so on. So you want to make sure you activate this to make things easier for you as you start building. So on this page now, I can go in and add another page. And perhaps this one here could be the contact page. So now you see how easy it is for me to go in and start adding my pages. That's because I've activated the admin bar. 
All right, so I'm just gonna add these two pages. You know how to add pages. Now let's go back to the dashboard. And now what we need to do next is to come over here to our settings, reading. And this is where now we want to set our static page to home like that and then save. All right, so now that we've set our static home, the next step now is to set up our menu. So we're gonna come over here, go to our menus and we're gonna create a new menu. So I'm just gonna call this main menu and over here, we're gonna set this to primary and then say create. Right now, I'm gonna click on view to view all the pages. And as you can see, these are my first two pages I created. We don't need the sample page at this moment. So I'm just gonna say add to menu and then I'm gonna hit save. All right, so now that I have my menu all set, let's take a look at what it looks like now. So you can see when I click here, it's blank. Now it's the home page. And at the top here, we have our home and our contact. Okay, so far so good. This is looking great. All right, so the next step now is to go in and make sure we set our colors. Now, the colors that we're going to set up are going to be over here. So we're gonna to go to DV and then we're gonna to go to theme customizer. Now this place, no, I went to the wrong one, okay? We wanna to go to theme options, okay? So this place here is very, very important because this is where we want to add our colors that we're going to be using throughout our design. So when you design websites, we have all our colors here. Remember, we have our primary color, we have our secondary color, our fonts and headings also have color. What's next now is our shades. And these are our gray scale or our gray shades. So let's go ahead and start adding them. So the first one is going to be this one here, F5, A5, F5. I'm gonna copy that. And then we're gonna to go to our settings here and that's gonna be our first one. In fact, our first one here can be white, okay? We can start with white. And then the next one here could be the very light shade of gray. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. So as you can see, I just need to continue doing this. Move on to the next one here. We're gonna copy that and paste it like that. And then move on to the fourth one. Again, we're gonna click back in here, move on to the next one here. We're gonna copy that and paste it. Okay, great. So now that we have these four, we can also add the dark versions, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna come back over here and we are going to start with this very dark color here. That's, I mean, that qualifies as black anyways. So we're gonna come back over here. Now we're gonna start all the way from the right. We're gonna paste that. Now you're going to see in a moment why this is important because a lot of the times when uh, designing, we have gray, we have grays on our websites and sometimes we wonder why do we use these grays? Well, you're going to notice that these grays actually separate our sections and sometimes they can work as shadows. I mean, there's so many uses to these rays. Okay. So I'm going to copy again here and these ones could actually work as they could work as our darker version of our website if we need to. Okay. So now we're going to add our final one, which is this one right here. We're going to copy that, come back over here and we are going to paste it. Now, this is my own workflow that I found is fantastic when you're designing websites. All right, so now that we have our colors here, now, you don't have to change these. These are good as they are, they're fantastic. Now, normally I don't do anything here. I just leave things as normal. Now let's head over now to a page and start adding our elements. All right, so we're gonna say edit with Divi. So I wanna show you now how everything comes together. So if I click here and add our first column, so let's say we want to add our heading. You can do it by doing that. And then I can just go in here and center it. So we're gonna go to heading text and we're gonna center it. Now, by the way, you can actually choose heading two, three, four, five if you wanted to over here. Next, we're gonna add some text and you can see that our color here for our text is all set. I'm just gonna center this as well. Now let's add a button. Now you're going to notice that our button is gonna come with a color. Why? Because we set it up already in the beginning, remember? So we're gonna come over here and align it, okay? So we can see the outline here is our action color, which is this one right here. Okay, so now that we have these three elements, let's say you want to add another section so we can just go on regular here. Now, this section is a bit different now because it has different information. So what you wanna do now is now use those grays. Now remember, we, we added our gray colors. So you click on this gear icon, go to the background and we're gonna start adding this one right here. And if we want to add another one, well, this one here should not have the gray. 
So we're going to set this to white. So as you can see now, I can go in and start adding all my content. So we're going to go with a blurb here, for example, and then we are just going to duplicate this a few times. Okay. So now this becomes our section and then we can continue on with more information that can go on the next section here. So now there's separation between all my sections and this is why we need that gray. Now, when it comes to the darker colors, well, we need those, you know, when it comes to the footer or maybe perhaps you want to have a really dark, say, section. So let's go ahead and do that here. Right, so let's duplicate this and perhaps maybe this one here needs to be the darker version. So we can always come over here, choose that. So now you can see we have all our colors and I didn't need to go into the global and make and start making any changes. Pretty much everything was very, very easy for me to use. Right. So let's say there's something here that we want to do that is going to involve our secondary color. Or in fact, let's just work on our button here. So we're going to go to design button and then we're going to activate, go to our button styles. Now, if you want to get that color, this is where you go. You click on global and here it is. That's our secondary color, just like that. So our secondary color is here, our primary color is here, and this is our heading text color, and this is our body text color. So at any point, if you want to go in and change it, you can go in and change it by just clicking here and maybe, you know, change it a little bit like that and then click the check mark. So this is going to now update across the, across the website. So I'm just going to say yes. Okay. So now that has been updated, but anyway, we are here to fix our button. So we are going to go and add our background color like that. And then we're going to go to our button text and our button text needs to be white here. And if we need to add a border, where is our border? Okay. So we've got a button text size here. Okay. Here's our border here. And we are going to set our color as well, just like that. Okay. So you can see my color now has been added. Now, if I wanted to also go in and add a link here, you can also notice that my color here is going to be added as well. Okay, great. So we're going to save here. Now there's also something that I want to show you here as you're designing, you're also going to notice that throughout this whole process, everything is pretty much going to be, I mean, all the colors are pretty much going to be set up for you. So now that you've set up all this, let's say you want all your websites to start with this process, because as you can see, we've spent close to what, 14 minutes <laughs> just setting this up. And also, by the way, our text here is already set up for us. So we don't need to go in and start messing about with the text over here. So you can see when we set it, when you click here, we can now go to our design. We don't need to go into our text here and then choose our font and so on because it is already set up for us and you can see here enter is set up and it's a global one in fact i hadn't seen this this is quite i hadn't seen headings and enter with a global icon there so this is actually a fantastic thing so if i say edit global fonts wow so i can now change my fonts over here which is pretty cool okay so this is something new in in the Divi 5 Alpha, so you can actually change your global fonts over here, which is fantastic. Okay, I really like that. Anyway, so this is how you set up pretty much everything you need on your website, and this is going to make the process very, very easy. But as you can see, we've spent, I mean, almost 14 minutes. Now, what you want to do now is I'm, I'm using a service called ZipWP. Now, this service is fantastic because as you can see, my website is right here. It's called Alpha 7, and you can see here, Alpha 7 is my site. I've just managed to spin it out from ZipWP. But the really cool thing now is let's say I'm going to be designing a lot of websites using Divi and I have to go through this process over and over and over and over again. What we can do to save ourselves time is to head over here, click on these three little dots and we can create a blueprint. Okay, right here. In fact, let me just move myself out of the way. We can create ourselves a blueprint. Okay, so this blueprint now we can give it a name. So let's call this Divi 5. Okay, so this is our Divi 5 blueprint and no, pretty much that's fine. I can now hit create. So it's creating my blueprint. So next time I want to create a, a new website, it's going to save me a lot of time. Now, let me show you how it is. So normally I will start off here on this dashboard, but if I want to create a new website now, I don't have to go in and create a new blank WordPress website upload Divi, blah, 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 and then start making all these changes, the home page, the colors and so on. So what I can do now is I can come straight over here to blueprints and I can load it from here. Or if I come over here to my dashboard again, I can say create new, 
click on this drop down, I can say blank website, okay, and then I can say from from blueprint. Okay, when I click on this drop down now, I can choose Alpha 7, create website, and now it's going to create a website with all the settings that we've just done. So ZipWP is really, really awesome, and I highly recommend that you use this, especially if you want, if you're someone that designs a lot of websites or a freelance designer or an agency. This is fantastic. Now, right now it's telling me that my site is ready. I'm gonna click here on one click login and see what happens and boom okay so it looks like we have our site here i'm going to click on visit and just like that i have a blueprint isn't that awesome so i'm going to leave a link to that in the video description below so and also i have divi university this is a community for those of you that enjoy using divi you can go ahead and sign up it is absolutely free in fact let me just show you where this is so you go to diviuniversity.com and there you go you can sign up today you know it's absolutely free first name email address and then you're automatically added to the community where you can get inspired you can download some free templates and so on it's a good community for those that want to share ideas and design using divi anyway guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you again in the next one take care